Hello everyone. Back with part two of the paper flower. I'm gonna take and curl these corners back. Uh, and hold it still I am. here to glue that one back. And there's that much of it done. Now I'll start a, another row. This one go in between two of these. Raise it up just a little bit. You can see there about how much I raised it up, about a about a quarter of an inch on that one really up to you how deep you want your flower to be. I think all of mine turns out different. <laughs> Just overlap it a little bit and keep going around. can also take and put clear glitter, glitter nail polish on the tips of these that makes them really pretty. I've done that on some of the foam flowers I've made but I don't think I have on the paper ones but you can still do it. Noticed I'm almost up to 400 subscribers. It's taken me a while to get there. The further along you get with these, the easier they are to glue down because first it's a little hard getting it glued down to this little stick does take quite a few petals to do these. I had 17 and 17 and I think this is going to be the last row I'm going to get to do on this one. I just used one sheet of paper to cut all these out. This is a piece of uh, cardstock paper from Hobby Lobby that they sell by the single sheets. Just gonna have enough to do this one more row. Now 
need two more and it's just gonna leave me four. I think I just need two more. Depending on how I put them on there, I might need three more. And I'm not even in frame, but y'all see what I'm doing. I'm just didn't realize I wasn't in frame, but this is a little bit hard to do. Let me raise my phone up a little bit there. But, whoops. That one there, I kind of boo-booed on a little bit, cutting it out, so I'll swap it. Yeah, I think this one will be enough to even it out. what it looks like. doesn't look like much right now. Might need to put... I'm going to go ahead and try and put a couple more on here. thing got them cut out might as well use them so I had 34 I've got two big ones and one little one left Woo, that glue's hot No, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to curl my, curl my petals down. If this looks a little odd shape, once you get all your petals done, you can go in behind it, glue it down, and... It'll look just fine. I should have cut my leaves out while I was loading that video first part a while ago, but I didn't. Now, see a little bit here. I'm going to have to go in behind here. Glue it down. It's not sticking out so far. And you have to hold this till it dries good or it'll just pop right back loose. I can hold that. Shoot some more glue on a couple more of these. halfway up and adding a little bit of glue so these petals are 
standing up against one another. That's all I'm doing. And that pretty much gives you your shape of what you want. Still haven't got this one laid down where I want it. That'll do it right there. strings and all <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get my leaves cut out here cut cut one side and flip it over and cut the other there's one of my leaves see if I can get it one more cut because I'm just going to put it two on it. Can't wait till people start posting Christmas videos because been a whole lot posted lately I miss watching them gotta shake this one up a little bit and I've got my two leaves It's going to come down to about the bottom to where the flower is. Put glue up about a half inch. May glue it down a little bit more. I don't know. It just depends on how it looks when I curl it. Back in frame here. I haven't stayed in frame to go with this video. Sorry. Now I may have to come up here and put a little bit up there. I don't know. Let me curl it and see what it looks like. Well, all these glue strings are driving me nuts. Just enough to catch it right up here at the top. Might cut the tip off of that leaf. I didn't want it that pointy, but it's underneath and it ain't really that noticeable. <coughs> I could put some more leaves on it, but I'm just going to put a couple on it. 
This video was running into some time too. I'll not worry about that. And we'll put these two here beside one another. Sometimes I put them down on my stick, but I like them better up on the flower. I think they look better. But when I wrap this with floral tape, you won't be able to see all that glue and stuff down there. Now let me curl this. Get off her. Oh, I got them glue strings everywhere. I'll put a little bit right down in here, about halfway down. Just enough to Catch it. I do think this would look better with more leaves on it. There's the uh, two that I put on it. I am gonna. I'll have a couple more minutes. Instead of wrapping the stem, I've got this color craze LA Colors uh, nail polish with hardener. And it dries clear, but it has glitter. And this is from Dollar Tree. I don't want to smell too much of this. I'm already sick. But I will show y'all what a little bit of this on the tip of these flowers look like. Really brings the shine out in them. Let me do a couple of them. Just gotta watch the time on my phone here. That makes a really big difference. A really big difference. You see there where I added the nail polish. So I'm going to pick my phone up here a little bit. Makes a really, really big difference in that. I'm going to do the whole thing what I can get to. But I wish I had time to put a couple more leaves on this because I do think it needs a couple more. I don't even know on them other flowers for done and off if I put leaves on them or not. Sometimes I forget to. <laughs> but anyhow, this is how I done my paper flower. I just call it a flower. You can call it whatever you want. Rose, whatever. But uh, that will be it for this video hope y'all enjoyed it and forgive me for getting out of frame and stuff i'm not feeling all that good but i wanted to get on here and do this video 
would like to do another video, but don't know if I will or not. Uh, but y'all have a blessed day. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And I shall see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.